This episode is all about putting your thoughts online and exposing your views of the world. Hello and welcome back. My name is Andre and this is the episode 18 of the Code Your 20s. Now, I am talking in this episode about why is it good to expose you, your experiences and your view to the world. And the simple reason is the following. People have an internal fear of what other people think about them. Uh, we fear of what other people, either those that we know or we don't, think about us. Now, how can we stop having this fear and just uh, live as we want? The simple answer I found is the following. Just expose yourself to the world. Put your thoughts, feelings, experiences, everything to, to the world. And then you are gonna see that basically nothing happens. Like even if you put your thoughts and what you think, nobody can judge you because you've posted this to the world. And let me give you an example. Take for example this vlog or uh, I write some articles and I post them on media about um, my life experiences. Uh, the, what I learned, what I understood, how I saw them. And some people might say that my views are wrong. Good, that's acceptable. But on the flip side, I'm exposing my view online. If someone takes the actual time to watch what I am saying, that means that in a way or another, I am providing some interest or value to that person. Hence, if I meet them in reality or something of that nature, what can they tell me? Like, cool, I, I have a different opinion in that case. Uh, in my last episode, I said that um, I uh, prefer to make decisions binary. Good, you might think that you have a different uh, opinion. You consider that life is not binary. Cool, my opinion is public, is online. I do not fear of anyone judging me because of that. If someone comes to you and tells, look, I think life is not black and white, it's not binary. Cool, what can happen? Let's make this experiment, like, what can happen? We have a different opinion, good, we move on. Um, we debate this for five minutes, I'm trying to expose my view with arguments. He or she expresses their view, what can happen? Nothing. On the flip side, if you don't expose this to the world, you might fear of saying that in public because of the fear of being judged by other people. But by exposing that, the fear just, it's inexistent. Now, another interesting thing is if you actually spend the time to read my last article, you will see the following. You will see that I talk about the events and the things that happened in my last year. I talk about the things that nobody talks about those events. I'm saying how the things were seen from my view and I'm also providing actional points of what you can do with the lessons that I uh, am telling there. Now, you will also see that I post some like goals for the next year publicly in the article online to be on the web documented. It might happen that I will fail in achieving these goals. It's super highly probable. But ask yourself what can happen. For example, I said uh, for the next year that I am uh, trying to uh, get the highest mark in the um, computer science department for the next year when I finish my bachelor. Good. This is something big to aim for. But if I fail to get that and it's, I publicly said that I am trying to do that, what can happen? I'm gonna feel good that I tried. Um, my um, failure is public, nobody cares, nothing is happening, you are not gonna die. So this should give you the courage to try to do the same. After completing the whole video, I realized something, so I decided to add it here. 
I would much rather fail of something that I say publicly than fearing of saying that in the public. Like, why would you fear if you fail in front of the public? It's way better than failing in front of the public than fearing of saying something to the world. I mean, it's just super clear. If it's not clear to you, try to think about this one after finishing this video. And I'm talking now from the point of, actually, I've already put uh, my thoughts online, but the psychology when you put uh, something for like the first few times online, it's totally different. Like, you might fear like, what can happen in that case? And the, the simple answer is nothing. You are not gonna die, hence nothing can happen. But uh, you might start fearing like, oh, what would my friends say about that? How about my parents? How about my boss? How about my professor? The answer is try with something small uh, initially, post that, and you are gonna see that nothing happens. Then this is gonna give you the courage and post more, 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 until you completely like expose your views of how you see the world. And then you're just gonna play uh, in the open battlefield without having any fear of anyone judging what uh, you are saying. Good. Now let's take a real world example. Did you notice that old people care a lot more about um, what their friends think about them? You, you might notice that they um, care super much about um, what clothes they have when they go out in the city because some of their friends might see that. Things of that nature. I, I think you get what I mean. And what's interesting is that they lived in a society which was not exposed. Like, people didn't have internet, internet. There was no way of telling your opinion to the world outside of just going and talking to a real person uh, in real life. And my assumption is that these people, they just live like in a cocoon of trying to hide the views that they have because they were judged about uh, what other people think. But in the current society, things of that nature like should not happen anymore. Now, I'm telling that you should expose your thoughts to the world um, and my advice works just if you have good intentions. Like if you want something good to happen for the world and have just good intentions, nothing bad can happen. If you have just good intentions, then you have nothing to hide. And that's the whole point. And another interesting thing which happens is that when you have good intentions, typically good things happen to you uh, as well. Take for example this vlog. I always, I publicly say that I make this vlog uh, because I'm answering some questions for myself and the process of making a vlog clarifies the whole process of thinking what should I say here and it clarifies things for me. Now, equally speaking, this thing also will help other people to clarify their thoughts. I am putting this online such that I say things from the perspective of a 21 years old and I can come with concrete advice that someone of my age can follow and it seems way more, let's say, understandable for this age. So these are my intentions. There are two intentions. The first one is to clarify things for myself and the second one is to try to give another thoughts expressed in a 21 years old manner that might help someone who is young to understand much better than they would read from books. Now, my intention seems good to me and um, I publicly see them, so I'm exposing myself and uh, this creates no fear for me. Hence, if you actually have good intentions, I would provoke you to post them online and share your thoughts to the world. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.